Dubai Electricity and Water Authority Diwa, announced that the total production capacity of its energy has reached 14,117 megawatts MW, after adding 700 MW. This includes 600 MW from the Hassian Power Complex, which runs on natural gas, and 100 MW from photovoltaic PV, solar panels at the fifth phase of the Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Solar Park, which Diwa is implementing. It is the largest single-site solar park in the world using the independent power producer IPP, model, with a planned capacity of 5,000 MW by 2030. The solar park hosts two pioneering projects, the Innovation Center and the R&D, Research and Development, Center. The Innovation Center supports DEWA's efforts to support innovation and creativity in clean and renewable energy and raise awareness on sustainability in addition to strengthening national capabilities and enhancing business competitiveness. The exhibition area on the first floor focuses on DEWA's journey, key historical inventions and innovations in electricity, and the latest developments in renewable and sustainable energy. The R&D Center, meanwhile, supports DEWA's efforts to anticipate the future, develop proactive, long-term plans to keep pace with the fourth industrial revolution by developing disruptive technologies. The center's research areas include solar power, smart grid integration, energy efficiency, and water. The R&D center is the only center in the UAE that focuses on renewable energy, smart grid technologies and energy efficiency. It has the largest and most comprehensive solar testing and certification facility in the UAE. It operates the longest continuous testing of photovoltaic panels in the UAE in desert climate conditions. By adding 100 MW from the 900 MW fifth phase, the current production capacity of the Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Solar Park has reached 1,627 MW using PV panels. Diwa is implementing other projects at the solar park with a total of 1,233 MW using PV and concentrated solar power CSP. Saeed Mohammed Al Tayer, MD and CEO of Diwa, said, we work in line with the vision of Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, to provide an advanced infrastructure that contributes to consolidating Dubai's position as a preferred destination for living, working, investing, and visiting. It also meets the growing demand for electricity and water services according to the highest standards of availability, reliability, efficiency, and quality. Diwa has outlined expansion plans for the energy and water infrastructure based on demand forecasts until 2031. We will continue to implement pioneering projects to diversify Dubai's clean and renewable energy sources to include all available technologies in Dubai to achieve the wise leadership's vision for a brighter and more sustainable future for generations to come," he added. Al Tayer noted that the clean energy share in Dubai's energy mix has reached 11.5% and is expected to reach 14% by the end of 2022. This supports the Dubai Clean Energy Strategy 2050 and the Dubai Net Zero Carbon Emissions Strategy 2050 to provide 100% of Dubai's total power capacity from clean energy sources by 2050. The current production capacity of the Hassian Power Complex has reached 1,800 megawatts, using the IPP model. A further 600 MW will be added in 2023. This will raise the capacity of the complex to 2,400 megawatts. The Hassian Power Complex, which runs on natural gas, adds to the Jebel Ali Power Plant and Water Desalination Complex, which is one of the key pillars to providing Dubai with electricity and water services according to the highest standards of reliability, efficiency, and quality. In November 2015, Sheikh Mohammed launched Dubai Clean Energy Strategy. Under this strategy, Dubai aims to produce 75% of its energy requirements from clean sources by 2050. The strategy also aims to make Dubai a global center of clean energy and green economy. It consists of five main pillars, infrastructure, legislation, funding, building capacities and skills, and environment-friendly energy mix. Now, talking about the details of strategy, it constitutes five main pillars in it. Infrastructure. The infrastructure part of this strategy includes energy capacity annexation of one of its kind, the Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Solar Park. The Mohammed bin Rashid bin Al Maktoum Solar Park is the world's largest solar energy farm as of today. This was inaugurated back in 2013 with a small capacity of 13 MW, i.e. before the Dubai Clean Energy Strategy 2050. 
The Solar Park program in continuation assimilated itself with the Clean Energy Strategy 2050 and achieved 800 megawatts capacity in 2017 in its second phase. At the end of 2020, the Dubai Electricity and Water Authority DIWA, also announced the completion of the third phase of this solar program achieving now 1013 MW of energy production. This was constructed at a cost of AED 3.47 billion and is energy to meet the energy demands of Dubai's more than 2.4 lakhs residents. Source. Now, the fourth phase has an aim to produce 25% of Dubai's total energy production which is around 5,000 megawatts and is planned to achieve by 2030. An additional AED 500 million is allocated to smart grid development for efficient management of energy usages. Apart from the solar energy park, the infra planning also includes the establishment of research and development centers for innovations in solar energy production technology, 3D printing, robots and drone developments, desalination of water using solar energy, and many others. An interesting part here is that the construction of these establishments is planned to achieve by 3D printing technology itself. Also, another plan is to create a dedicated carbon-free zone, by the name Dubai Green Zone to attract investment and international firms to establish their R&D centers for further advancements and innovations in green energy technology. Legislation. An enormous, long-going and ambitious project like this which is one of its own kind is inevitable to fail without a proper legislative structure. So, the second pillar of Dubai Clean Energy Strategy 2050 comprises the implementation of its legislative structure in two phases. The first phase of the program aims at encouraging all the building owners to install solar panels on their buildings to generate electricity and connect it to Dubai Electricity and Water Authorities DIWA, grid to supply the surplus amount. This strategy also comes under the DEWA's initiative and is named Shams Dubai. The second phase plans to incorporate Dubai's municipality also to regulate strategies for efficient energy management and installation of PV panels to all the city's buildings by 2030. Funding. As the green project also requires green funding for its operation, the UAE authorities have also established a fund body under the name Dubai Green Fund which has a worth of AED 100 billion. The Dubai Green Fund aims to provide easy loans for stakeholders interested in investing in clean energy initiatives and financial aid to the research and development programs. Human resources and skills. Any technological innovative task requires consistent efforts and competitive skills. So, the fourth pillar of this strategy ensures skill building of people involved through various global training programs and institutes. It involves reputed organizations of the world that are dedicated to sustainability research programs, like the International Renewable Energy Agency IRENA, to create specialized human capabilities in this field. Sustainable Energy Mix The fifth and final pillar of the Dubai Clean Energy Strategy aim to create a sustainable energy mix comprising 25% of energy production by solar power, 7% of energy through nuclear power, 7% energy through green coal, and the remaining 61% through gas by 2030. By 2050, the aim extends to create an energy mix with 75% of Dubai's total energy production through solar power, which is the ultimate goal of the strategy. Dubai's clean energy strategy includes a 27 United States dollars and 20 cents billion investment in a green fund to provide easy, low interest loans to clean energy investors. In addition, the strategy also includes a comprehensive innovation center to be built using 3D printing. The center will feature R&D units specialized in next-generation clean energy technologies, such as test beds for solar, 3D printing and drone usage. 136 United States dollars million will be invested in R&D for the integration of smart grids, energy efficiency and solar-powered electricity generation. Climate change is a serious concern. The Earth's temperature has increased by 2 degrees Fahrenheit in the 20th century alone. This situation demands attention because if you take a look at the history of the Earth's temperature, it has remained fairly constant for a long period of time. In fact, in the last ice age when the Earth was covered by 3,000 feet of ice in the northeast of the US, its temperature was just 5 to 9 degrees Fahrenheit below than now. So, even the slightest change in global temperature can have an adverse impact on the Earth's environment and its habitat. Frequent wildfires, droughts, and storm events are some of the effects of global warming and the shift in the Earth's weather patterns. Fortunately, many countries now are taking this seriously and taking steps to combat the issue. You might be knowing Denmark for its renewable energy sources where 80% of the country's electricity is generated using renewables, 57% coming from wind power alone.
Similar is with Norway where 99% of its electricity production comes from hydropower. In that league of green nations, Dubai, which is the most populous city in the UAE region, also famous for its luxurious lifestyle and the tallest skyscraper in the world Burj Khalifa, has joined the list. These remarkable words of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum summarize the whole strategy and his vision for Dubai. The strategy aims to provide 75% of the Emirates' energy through clean energy sources by 2050, reflecting our commitment to establish a sustainable model in energy conservation that can be exported to the whole world, and support economic growth without damaging the environment and natural resources. Our goal is to become the city with the smallest carbon footprint in the world by 2050. Through this strategy, which is based on innovation, research and development, we aim to explore the future of the energy sector to unveil initiatives that will make use of the scientific and technological developments in this sector and take the lead in their development and application," said Sheikh Mohammed in a release.